And while the March weather came in like a lion, so did the opening day of the stock market this month. The Dow fell below the 7,000 mark for the first time in more than 11 years today. That's after the government announced another $30 billion infusion into insurance giant AIG. The company just posted the worst quarterly loss in U.S. corporate history. Charlie Horman joins us now from our business. The worst quarterly loss in corporate history. Unbelievable. $62 billion lost in one quarter, nearly $100 billion lost in a, in a year. Um, and so AIG, which has already received three uh, government interventions, has now gotten a fourth one. They've gotten $30 billion in additional funds from the government. A lot of the terms that they had uh, worked out with the Treasury Department and the Federal Reserve have been renegotiated to try and really stabilize this company, which is the, at least at the time in September when, they, when we first stepped in, when the taxpayer first stepped in to bail them out, was the world's largest insurer. And investors did not like this today on Wall Street. No, I think there's a lot of worry that if this is where AIG is going, even though it's an insurer, could this set a precedent for some of the banks that are struggling, like Citigroup, which has received billions of dollars as well. So for the first time in 11 years, the stock market dropped below 7,000. It's now that 7,000 bottom has become 6,000. Uh, and we're, we're, again, we're back in like an era of 1997, 1996. Um, and the markets are really unhappy at what they're seeing. And Warren Buffett, we've all been saying, when will it end? Will it end? And, and, and Warren Buffett weighed in today. Well, one of the smartest investors in the world said that the economy is in shambles through the rest of 2009, and, and it could be some time before things turn around. All right, great news. Thanks, yeah. Charlie Herman. Glad to have you here. <laughs>